All right, so I have to say, I love it how, you know, I don't make a video for the past couple of days just because I'm like, eh, you know, I'm either at work, I'm spending time with my family, there's kind of a drought, there's really not a whole lot going on, there's not a whole lot to talk about, and then all of a sudden, boom, two games that kind of interest me, uh, one especially, which we'll talk about with KOTOR, the other one's GTA uh, 6, we'll get into that in a different video, but uh, yeah, man, I I'm totally concerned with this news about uh, KOTOR being delayed uh indefinitely like that's that's the rumor and i'm over here sitting like i'm like alex jones you've seen the alex jones like uh what was it an interview with uh with uh, joe rogan and he's like <laughs> that's how i feel like that's how i truly feel reading this news about kotor and I, I i feel like i'm gonna give you guys a different perspective than a lot of people are giving you know some people are like oh it's canceled it's delayed no it's not canceled no it's not delayed people are just fear mongering back and forth you know what? I really don't care. I, I really don't care. You're going to get 17 different opinions out there. I am I am among the different opinions out there. Um, but I feel like I can give you a different opinion from what I'm thinking with this possible cancellation, this possible de indefinite delay, you know, a little delay, indefinite delay, whatever it matters. Um, I'm going to give you this, this different perspective that I feel like that needs to be given out there uh, that is just really with KOTOR, as somebody that has been really looking forward to this game, as, as somebody that really loves, like, the Knights of the Old Republic, the Old Republic timeline of Star Wars, that, somebody that has truly invested, you know, time and energy into playing the video games, getting invested in the characters, and the lore surrounding these characters in the Old Republic, and looking forward to, and looking forward to the, the remake of KOTOR, uh, I'm at this point right now where I'm just sitting here going, look, if, if, if right now is fire cannot make the perfect, cannot just give as much time, as much needed care as needed for a remake of a, of a classic video game, a classic Star Wars video game. If they are unable to do that, just just don't do it don't don't do it at all don't don't half-ass something throw it out there going hey it's the kotor remake it's a half-ass attempt here you go i don't want that whatsoever if, if that's the attempt is that if that is if that is what would be delivered uh we'll get into the article from bloomberg from jason schreier is that apparently people within aspire were, were trying to push this game out this year and even developers are going, no, the more realistic, uh, you know, po point of pu actually push pushing this game out and publishing, uh, publishing it um, would be like 2025. Uh, again, if this delay keeps this game from being released to where it we're not getting a half-assed remake and, 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 and hopefully more time is put into this game. Dude, I'm all on board. I'm, I am totally on board. With the amount of games that we get nowadays, where it's just such half-ass, they, 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 they release a game with so many different bugs and different issues, and, and they're like, ah, you know what, release this game, pay 60, 80, you know, $100 for this copy of the game, and we'll fix it later on down the line. Don't worry about it. That's what I get annoyed about. And I don't want them doing that. I don't want them doing it to a remake to a very classic game, an amazing game that everybody around the Star Wars fan base absolutely enjoys. I don't want Aspire taking a half-ass approach to it. Now with this delay, maybe maybe it will maybe they'll they'll fix it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll have more time to work on it, or maybe it's just delayed indefinitely and canceled, and we're never going to see it ever in, in, in our lifetime i'm totally okay with that because i would rather it be perfect than a half-ass attempt so anyway let's get into this topic I, i'm off my soapbox so jason schreier actually gets this story releases yesterday um it, it, which the news is star wars knights of the old republic remake is indefinitely delayed bloomberg has learned developer aspire abruptly fires two directors this month and told staff that the project is on pause as it tries to figure out what is up next or coming next now, for those who don't know, I actually do have somebody that that I, I'm in contact with, um, with, with making the game. That you know, very very limited amount of, of communication that you know that I get from this person uh, about kind of what's going on. And um, even with this, you know, just asking, hey, you know, what is everything okay over there? Uh, all I got was I can't really talk about it. I, all is okay. Uh, apparently from my source and uh, not not all not a whole lot of info from that so it does make me concerned and it makes me kind of wonder what the hell is kind of going on over at spire just because that's very odd to know that some people over at the studio are just not talking about it so 
Uh, let's get into this. Let's get into the Bloomberg article that just, you know, again, like I said, if this is, if, if their plan was to release a half-assed attempt of the old Republic and it just wasn't going to be the per- the perfect remake that this game surely does de- d- deserve. It-, it just would have disappointed. It, it would have been a disappointment to me. I imagine it would have been a disappointment to a-, a major chunk of the Star Wars fan base if this uh, remake was just not on point to where it needed to be. So anyway, let's get into this. So a hotly anticipated new Star Wars game is in a serious trouble according to people familiar with the project. Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic, a remake of the 20 th- or 2003 uh, role-playing game, is delayed indefinitely as developers at Austin, Texas-based Aspire Media is trying to figure out what comes next. Aspire has also abruptly fired gaming art director and a design director this month. In a series of meetings throughout July, Aspire's two studios has um, told employees that the project is on pause and that the company will look into new contracts and development opportunities, said the people, who are not authorized to speak with pu- um, publicity about this situation. Like I said, even with the person that I have in contact with um, over Inspire, nothing no, like like they are locking everything down they don't want anybody you know no news no anything from anyone about what's going on within the studio and it just it makes me truly wonder now like i said there, there are some people out there saying no it's not canceled they're going to be taking you know some time to actually get a good team gathered up and and get a a, a gr- good work on this game before it gets delivered which i hope that's the case i hope that they are taking time uh, to develop a good team, even though they're apparently firing two people. I don't know what the issue is with that. But if Aspire's end goal is to create a good team to get a good amount of time on this remake and deliver a good product at first hand, that's great. Don't deliver something that's just not really the greatest. A, we'll fix it later like all these other games come out. It continues on with saying Knights of the Old Republic was to be one of the first modern Star Wars console releases outside of Electronic Arts. Yeah, I mean, for the, for the longest time, Star Wars has been just a product under EA because of the contract they had with Disney. And thank God that is in. And, and hopefully we will get more great Star Wars games um, that are not locked under EA. But again, with this being shut down apparently right now, it just does have a little bit of concern about what's going on with exactly is happening to this game. So the article continues on with saying on June 30th, Aspire finalized a demo of the game known as Vertical Slice to show the products or production partners of Lucasfilm, LLC, and Sony Group. The developers were excited about it and felt like they were on track, according to a person familiar with the project. So they were shocked by what happened next. The following week, the company fired design director Brad Prince and art director Jason Miner neither responded to requests on the comment uh, but minor suggested on social media that he is dismissal of what was expected it, again it makes me just kind of wonder what what was the deal like what what happened with this demo why are two directors that are involved in this project why did they just get bounced uh from the company it it, it just it leaves me with more questions on kind of what's going on in aspire and it just <laughs> I, I i don't know again look like if 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 this Koto remake cannot be the perfection that it is absolutely deserves, don't make it. J- just throw it away. We'll keep the we'll keep the old game. We'll keep the original game. Move on to certain things. Move on to something else. If if, if the game cannot be perfected uh, with this remake, so <laughs> I don't know, man. It just the drama, the internal drama that's going on apparently at the studio just makes me question so much. So. Aspire Studio had told the staff that the vertical slice wasn't where they wanted it to be, and the project was was paused, according to two people who were at the meeting. One person f- familiar with the discussion suggested that the disproportionate amount of time and money had gone into the demo, that the project's current course wasn't sustainable. So apparently, uh, from what I understand, too, a lot of money has been put into this. Now, I, I, you know, what what is that equivalent to? You know, how much money has actually been put into it? Because we don't actually know. Uh one thing I would actually kind of suggest the old Republic Star Wars, the old Republic, the MMO RPG, that's $200 million budget. So, so for those that don't know that that is, I think one of the most expensive Star Wars games that's ever been made. And that was made in 2011, $200 million. Um, so how, what, what's the price tag on this? I have no idea, but if money uh, time and money is something that apparently is concerned by aspire, it makes me kind of wonder what, what what's the price tag. Another port of contention, uh, maybe the timeline, uh, at the offset of the development, Aspire told staff and partners that they, w- they wanted to release the game at the end of 2022, but according to two people familiar with the pro- uh, production, developers said a more realistic time would be now would be 2025. 
that that right there concerns me so much is that the management the people higher up are saying release this game this year and the developers are going mother of god stop it right now this game needs more development needs more effort put into it please push it back to 2025 <laughs> I, th this goes on with so many different games so many games out there even recently in the past couple of years have been released just piss poor ba barely any effort put into it and then egg hey, will fix it on later down the line star wars the old knights of the old republic does not deserve that and it definitely needs to you know put in the the, the tlc the tender love and care that this game you know remake needs needs to be put in this game and the fact that apparently staff and partners of the game are saying no release it this year and the developers are saying no release it later give us more time to, to develop it totally makes me concerned about this entire game and honestly i'm at this point where i'm just dude just shut it down shut it down don't do this to a game that deserves an amazing remake that i'm assuming is not going to be getting it so anyway let me know in the comments below what do, you, what do you guys think about this to me personally i say if they cannot make an amazing remake of nice deal republic don't even waste your time don't even put any effort into it don't waste the gamers time and money if you're not going to be perfecting a game that definitely needs a great remake we'll we'll stay with the original classics if you're going to just half-ass this remake but anyway that's my perspective about it let me know in the comments below what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed the video please have a great rest of the day look forward to talking to you guys all next time